video is for anybody out there who's just recently bought their first electric vehicle and don't know what to do next. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for being here. Today's video is gonna be a short one. I just wanna cover a couple of the things that I think you should do next as soon as you buy your first electric vehicle. When I think of electricity, I think of an outlet at home and how when you plug something into it, it just works. You don't have to activate the outlet through some sort of an application on your phone. It just powers up whatever you've put into it. Public charging stations are slightly different. Each one actually needs to be activated from an app on your phone. With the exception of Tesla's pulling up to a Tesla branded charging station, they can actually just pull up and charge. Step one, download the Plug Share app. If you don't have any room on your phone, make room for it. This is gonna be your absolute gold standard for finding and locating public charging stations for you to use. I have done a video on the Plug Share app before in the past. If you've not seen it, check the link above and that'll take you right to it. Using the PlugShare app, you can actually determine what stations are gonna be most convenient for you, and you can determine what you're gonna be able to do next in terms of the apps you should be downloading. Because the next thing you need to understand is that each charging station requires activation before you use it 90% of the time. Step two, tell all your family and friends that because you own an electric vehicle, you're now superior to them in at least one way. No, I'm just kidding. You're not actually better than anybody because you drive an electric vehicle. Although if you join enough Facebook groups, you will realize that some people do think that way. Step two, you wanna download the apps for the charging stations you're gonna be using. Common ones in my area are ChargePoint, Flow, and BC Hydro. However, you may be in an area where Electrify America or Electrify Canada, PetroCan EV, or Green Lots are the apps that you're gonna to wanna to download. Check the PlugShare app for the most common charging stations you are likely to use. Check the brand on them or the network that they're on, and then go and download those associated apps. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll give you a tip on how you can activate charge point stations in particular a little bit quicker. So I'm driving down the highway right now and I see a plane coming in that is air Tahiti and I'm thinking, man, it'd be really nice to be in Tahiti right about now, but I'm not, I'm in Vancouver. Anyways, back to number three. Number three, join the Facebook group specific to your make and model of the vehicle that you just bought. I can't stress enough how helpful and informative it's been for me being a member of various Nissan Leaf groups. If I wasn't a member of there, I wouldn't know quite a lot about the car that I'm driving right now. And because electric vehicles don't typically require as much maintenance as a regular gas vehicle, you won't be at a dealership enough to ask these certain questions. You'll be surprised at how much you'll learn from other people, and you might even find one or two things about the car that you can maintain yourself. I'm just editing today's video, and I realized that I actually forgot to record the feature I promised, which is how to actually enable a charge point station and save yourself a little bit of time. This feature may work on other charging stations. I haven't tested it. I know for a fact it works on charge point because I use it all the time. When I first started charging my electric car, I would typically open up the app, find the charging station that I'm in front of, hit start charge, wait for the network to connect with the charging station. Then you'd hear a click, you'd pull the plug out, plug it in the car and start charging. With this feature, your phone needs to have NFC enabled. And if you're on Android, it's a quick drop down from the top menu. On Apple, I'm sorry, I don't know how to do it. I'm not an Apple guy. Maybe somebody can chime in in the comment section below. Once that's enabled, you can simply tap your phone on the charging station you're in front of. It will activate that. You can pull the plug, stick it in your car and start charging. So that's it for me for the day. If you enjoyed the video or at the very least learned something, let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. Other than that, thanks for watching and have yourself a great day.